Hey everyone, this is Bazooka. Welcome to one of my videos and welcome to Let's Scrub It Out, a video series where I play a game where you can be potentially bad at. This time in TF2, I'm going to be playing as a sniper with a strange sniper rifle, a strange razorback, and the Shahansha. Uh, now, the only reason why I'm using the razorback at all is because I had actually recently gotten it. Uh, no, a stra the strange version. I had gotten a crate, I do believe 29, which has the Razorback, the Extinguisher, the Black Box, and the something else. I can't remember. And I'm too lazy to look it up. But then, I'm like, hey, you know what? I'll open this. Let's see what I get. Uh, I'll be fine with really anything. Except the Razorback. And lo and behold, I get the Razorback. And then I get critted by flames. Great. <laughs> Dem crits, he said it for me. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, besides, like, the last few, like, uh, I'd say, like, a week or two ago, I actually had never, ever used the Razorback. Because I know it's not good. It's just like, you use up the, your secondary slot, which could be for the SMG or the Jurate, both really good secondaries for the, uh, for the Sniper. But then, the Razorback, oh, it's very clearly there. I'm a spy. I'm just not gonna head, I'm not gonna backstab you, I'm gonna headshot you with the Ambassador and then body shot you. Have fun. Way to go, wasting that secondary slot. So, that's the problem. That's, I'm gonna say it right here, because I'm pretty sure a lot of people have thought about this. The big problem with the Razorback is that enemies can see it. They can clearly see that it is there. And, personally, if you ask me, the only way to fix that is to make it invisible. Which is kind of weird, because, you know, it's an item, it should be viewable to everyone. But then, like, the Razorback is just, it's so underwhelming. Also, double dead ringer spies. Seriously, it's ridiculous. And see, that spy clearly had a perfect chance to backstab me, but he didn't because, it's like, oh, he has a Razorback. I'm just gonna shoot him with the Enforcer, which is probably more effective at that point. So I'm like, uh, I'm so sad. And for some reason, I totally botched that headshot. I don't, I don't know how. This medic wants to take me on. Bring it! I have the Shahansha. You're dead. <laughs> so. Uh, you're dead. But unfortunately, I'm also dead. So, there's not much... Like, th this video is supposed to be centered... Blah, 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 blah kind of stutter stuttering my words and also completely screwing up the pronunciation. This video is supposed to be, I guess, kind of focusing on the Razorback, but unfortunately, no spy in this video actually manages to backstab me ever. So, I don't know. It's, it kind of sucks, but whatever. So, clearly, he's a spoy. I mean, I, I bumped into him, and I'm just gonna wait this out. Yeah. So I did not realize that there was a sentry up there, and then I get killed by the rescue ringer. Great. But I still haven't gotten hit by a backstab. Oh no, no, of course not. Uh. So, yes. So don't mind me. Obviously, for people not in the know, like, obviously, this should be kind of obvious because I'm kind of talking about it right now. But, uh, the Razorback stops a spy from backstabbing. Well, they backstab you, the Razorback breaks in half, and then, uh, they're stunned. Well, they can't switch weapons and they can't attack for, like, uh, one or uh, two, three seconds or something like that. And it emits a very loud sound, so that way you know that your Razorback has just been broken. Uh, unfortunately, as I've been saying, it is very obvious that, it's, that it is there. And the only reason a spy would ever want to backstab you with, with uh, if you have a Razorback on, 
is if they're trying to go for die another way where they break your razor back and then kill you uh, some other way which is eh, eh, not not great let's say because well I mean, it's, it, it might be pretty easy for the spy because, you know, he has the dead ringer. Oh, I'm gonna backstab you. Oh no, I failed. Oh, you killed me. No, not really. And then you just come back from the dead ringer and it's like, whatever. Then the scout. I body shot him. And then he gets me with a crit. Of course. Of course. Of course it's a crit. <laughs> Otherwise, I would have lived in that. Ah. And the sniper on. Well, it's not really a sniper on sniper. And I completely botch all those shots. Oh well. It's on my path to become a better sniper. And here it's a double sniper on one sniper battle. I see the heavy. I wanted to go for the heavy. And unfortunately that was my downfall because then that eject guy got me. Oh well. I just have to deal with it. Sunglasses. So. I got him. No problem. It's just, it just happens. I don't know how I manage to get these kills sometimes. So, the scout aids that guy in killing me. And if you didn't notice that, my arm like kind of like, got jammed into the ceiling somehow. I don't, I don't understand how that. Would work. Anyway, so I have the shahansha this for this setup because there was a heavy there and he completely owned me in the face. And then, same with that that other sniper. And then this sniper is like, whatever. I'm just gonna chill out here. What's happening? Oh, SMG time. <laughs> uh, okay, but... Uh, with any of like, the backpack or uh, shield weapons that the sniper has, I always go with the Shahansha. Uh, because... Unless it's the Drate... Unless it's the Drate, I will almost never use the bushwhacker because I feel like th to make the most out of the bushwhacker uh, you have to use the Jirate or I don't freaking know have a buff banner soldier ally I like that that's just how I see it being used so I like uh, okay this must be how it must be used and you know a te basically a free 195 damage is very nice said all the pyros all the time forever uh, I don't know how I missed that headshot and that headshot registered rather late <laughs> I was trying to think like uh, did he actually headshot him? Mm, I think he did yeah he did <laughs> anyway so for those of you not know the Shahansha gets me headshotted because I wasn't paying attention no uh, the Shahansha um, like, you probably would have read it, but whatever. The Hansha deals 25% less damage if you're above 50% health, but it does 25% more damage if you're below 50% health. So, that could be... It can turn out to be decently powerful. That's why I use it with uh, anything besides... Uh, if I'm not using the Drate. So, yeah. Trying to get some headshots here. That doesn't work out because you know, once again I'm not that great of a sniper. Yeah. And once again, botched a headshot. All I needed to do was move the cursor over a little bit more, and it would have been a delicious 150 damage. Uh, I saw the heavy coming up from the left. Hang on, I need ammo first. So there I saw the pyro. I'm like, okay, I'm going for for the pyro. Right, Missed. Right, the heavy comes out, and apparently I also miss him at the same time. Alright, ready, jump, go. And so I'm, I'm just, I'm trying to do my best, trying to do my best, and then it's like double heavy. And then I die. To a heavy who painted his ghostly gibbous. Why? A. But that, uh, that scout cleaned him up quite nicely, so I am happy about that. Don't get the headshot, but I still get a nice 50 damage on him, so that's, that's always nice. And then there's like a melee heavy going out or something. I got a beautiful headshot, unfortunately don't kill him, but then... That, uh... That scout again. Matty is back. He, uh... He killed off the person I shot, so... It's, it's gonna be a recurring theme, just so you know. <laughs> 
So, yes, going on, continuing on, shooting in random directions. I don't know why. It's just because. So, yes, it is always a pleasure. Mission begins in 60 seconds. Especially when you have delicious water. Unfortunately, it's not like delicious root beer because you know it doesn't have sugar and caramel tastes and blah blah blah. But it still, it's water. Water is water, and I've taken a leg into it. But that's not what this video is about. It's about the Razorback. <laughs> it's about the Razorback, and how absolutely no spies have attempted to backstab me yet. Oh, that's just that's just the way it goes, I guess. So, coming in over here. Just gonna skip ahead. Five, four, because no one wants three, to wait that much time. Two, you all have valuable time. And I don't know why you're even wasting it here, but whatever. Scout! Eh, body shot. Twitch! Nice. Many thanks. Not like you can hear me, but you know. Why don't we just say it now? <laughs> uh, I really, I really need to get better with those Twitch, Twitch shots. Uh, yeah, but I still get a nice headshot. And then the soldier then brings it upon himself to take care of the sniper. I, eh, it's just the way it goes sometimes. So might as well just go over here, grab the HP. See the sniper? I wanted to go for the headshot, but uh, I miss, and then the pyro takes care of him anyway. So I'm like, hey, why not go for this uh, this uh, medic over here? But then, epic sniper battles. I body shot him, which is apparently enough to kill him, so, you know, all is good in the world. So there's that, a pyro. And then he dies with the pyro, and then I get hit, and then I get set on fire, and then I get body shot in. In that order. Held it. And I die. Unfortunately. And then this guy. This guy. is a heavy, and oh my god. He's shooting the heavy. The poor heavy. He, he just wanted to party. Uh, but, what are you gonna do? Because, you know, that's. I'm gonna say this a lot, that's just the way it is. And then he gets. And then that scout gets the Dodgers 1 Giant 0 achievement, which is friggin' hard to do, if you ask me. Or, if not, it's very situational when you can get it. And it's like, I had to work really hard to get mine. But this guy, he just comes up, kills a defensive heavy, heavy run, and takes a sandwich. The poor. The poor heavy! He did not deserve such things as that. But then there's a scout here, so I get on the point. At the very least, if I'm on the point, then he won't be able to cap it. So, whatever is good, is good. Because that makes sense, right? Right, indeed. Get the body shot, get a leg shot, and then, once again, that scout finishes him off. Uh, unfortunately, I wish I could have gotten the headshot on him, but that does not happen. And then here we go. That would have been probably a body shot, but go figure, that little piece of the window completely blocks me. Thank you, Scout, for, uh, for stunning him, and so that way I could deal with him my own way. So that Scout that I missed, I'm like, eh, whatever. Someone else will deal with him. But no, no, not at all. And in fact, he's like using almost, I'm going to assume he's using the same setup as the Scout on our team. So, that's even weirder if you ask me. But whatever. We got a... I was about to say we got a Russian heavy. But they're all Russian. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's horrible. But whatever. Alright. So, I see that heavy. I'm like, eh, I can't kill him. Like, that's, that's just not... That's not right. And then this boy... This boy, I try and kill him, apparently I can't. And surprisingly I didn't take any damage from that, so whatever. Now there I really wanted to, him to backstab me, but no. And unfortunately I pulled the Shahansha, I'm not quick enough on the draw to get in one hit at least, to do that delicious extra damage. Oh well, not much I can do about that. So moving along in this gameplay, I do believe it's that same scout, just on the point, just, just cause. And then, epic sniper battle between me and this other dude. 
I think I think that's eject. Yeah, it's eject. And then this pyro. This pyro comes out of nowhere. I'm like, I'm gonna screw up this battle as much as I physically possibly can. And then I headshot him out of spite. Well, that and he's was the only other target. So I see a couple of heavies coming over here. I'm like, oh, oh. <laughs> it's the two friendly heavies. I enjoy this highly. To a high degree. Very much enjoy this. And then and then eject kills me. I was laughing. It's no big deal. It's all good times. So yeah. I love it when that happens. It's just like random random friendliness in a random server that you join. I love it. I don't know why, it's just, it makes me laugh whenever I die in those situations. Mission ends in 30 seconds. So, just 30 more seconds left in this match. I don't know why I thought someone was up there, but... Hey, that's how it goes sometimes, you know? I guess it was like the top of that tree that made me think that someone was there, but... And then that sniper happily extinguished my flames. My burning flames of hurting this. Yes. And then we got another scout, so I got on the point just to stop the cap. And we win! Yeah. I doff my hat to you, good sir. And then I demand a high five, which I promptly get. So, I believe that will do it for this episode of Let's Scrub It Out. Uh, yeah, so. Uh, I actually do have a topic for next time. Next time, I'm probably gonna be talking about something like. The sore loser mentality. Take that as you will, but I will explain it next time and let's go it out. I thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys later. Have a good day. Or in my case, a good night when I'm recording my voice. But whatever.